Hi, my name is Todd Bauer, and I'm a program manager in the Microsystems Technologies Office at DARPA. I did my PhD in chemical and nuclear engineering at the University of New Mexico, where I studied low temperature plasmas for materials processing. After school, I hired in at Sandia National Laboratories. My career at Sandia has been in the MESA complex in the Fab Operations Group, where I've had hands-on experience in most areas of microfabrication, including technologies like CMOS, many flavors of MEMS, photonics, some quantum technologies, and a little work in compounds and three nitrides. I also have experience with advanced packaging and heterogeneous integration. Along the way, I did some work in trust and security and developing technologies that give us better handholds on our complex supply chains. That's the experience and perspective that informs me here at DARPA. I arrived at DARPA in January 2023, so I've been here about a year and a half. My programs today are HOTS, Coffee, and Tea Music, with HOTS, we're seeking high temperature sensor platforms. A sensor includes both the transducer and signal conditioning electronics. Our performers are attacking new process and integration challenges associated with integrating novel materials for transducers with wide band gap semiconductors for signal conditioning circuits. With coffee, we're pursuing compact high performance filters in the X, K, U, and V bands. This requires innovative materials and device architectures and exquisitely precise processing to pull it all together. With Team Music, we're demonstrating blazing fast SIGI bipolar transistors integrated with advanced silicon CMOS. In each case, our performers are fighting complex process and integration challenges, and these are the kinds of programs that I gravitate toward. So what inspires me today? Of course, given my background in microsystems manufacturing, MTO programs are often limited by challenges with material synthesis and fabrication, Developing specific unit operations or the integration among unit operations is often problematic. Device yield, whether it be a transistor, MEMS, or photonics device, is another stumbling block for our performers. Longer than expected cycles of learning can bust the best Gantt chart. So our team has been putting a lot of thought cycles into how to do microsystems manufacturing better. One example that inspires our team is a recent paper by LAM Research that shows that what they termed human-machine collaboration, where machine learning augments the experience and intuition of the process engineer to arrive at a process solution faster than either one could do on their own. Can concepts like this be extended to other unit operations? Probably. Can we extend it to process module integration? Maybe. Full devices? That sounds DARPA hard. Could we make those approaches generalizable and scalable? that might allow us to do fabrication much better than we do it today. Another topical area that is ripe for disruption is the integration of microsystems with biology. Our team is starting to think in terms of molecular microsystems, highlighting that we're on the cusp of seamless integration in all new advanced functions. We're interested in the integration of biomolecules with microsystems. Biological systems communicate via biomolecules, and yet our ability to interf interface and control biomolecules with microsystems is still nascent. Our team is putting a lot of thought into how to advance the state of the art here. We're thinking about the physical interfaces, design and simulation tools, and fabrication approaches. For instance, how do we attach a biomolecule to a mi microsystem? And then once it's attached, how can we control its function? If we can do better at integrating biomolecules with microsystems, this has the potential to advance preparedness and therapies for our warfighters, provide new pathways to leverage biology for compute, and create new tools for things like drug discovery and material synthesis. So how do you engage me? I know you have important technology. If you've already demonstrated it, then it no longer needs DARPA investment. Tell me about the hard problems that you haven't solved. Tell me about the new capabilities that your demonstrated technology might enable. To help with that, here's some insight into how DARPA has taught me to approach technical problems. I ask myself, what can't we do today? Why can't we do it? What insight do we have that leads us to think that we can do it now? If you think that this looks like a condensed version of the Hallmeyer questions, trust your instincts. Answering the Hallmeyer questions is a great way to get my attention. If you need a different icebreaker, I like talking about cycling, skiing, and New Mexico vistas.